Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Uh, also, I'm um, really having a tough time getting over being sick, so I'm sorry uh, the readings are a little bit behind, but uh, just bear with me, okay? Uh, the Sun, Prince of Summer. Someone's had a hard time dealing with uh, what has happened here. Uh, their emotions are all over the place, but I do see some positive aspects coming now. It's almost like uh, everything has been lifted and finally seeing um, things for what they truly are, okay, things that have been hidden possibly in the past. I see a lot of uh, inner conflict going on that's been kind of blocked from you here. Sun, strength, empowerment with freedom, leap, and opportunities. Yeah, so... Uh, somebody's finally looking at the positive side of things, okay, seeing that uh, something is a blessing in disguise, even though it seemed like it was the worst thing of all. Overall energy, queen of wands. So this is about taking charge, making things happen as well. Uh, also abundance, I am picking up abundance here. Uh, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have seven of cups. The hair fonts and the nine of swords with the magician. Okay, so it ha there has been a lot going on, uh, especially with regards to somebody here. You do feel somewhat blocked from the truth. Some of you have been going through a lot of stress or difficulties understanding what has happened or what went wrong in the situation, or you feel like there's something that happened here. Uh, almost like a mistake or an accident for some of you. Uh, and it's been really hard to see where you stand or what's going on with this situation. Especially with the Seven of Cups hair font. Uh, you really feel like you held yourself accountable. You did the right thing or always tried to uh, be loyal and uh, trustworthy here. But you feel like they didn't do that for you. Okay, They just kind of flipped the tables all of a sudden. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Page of Cups for their energy. So we have the Page of Cups again. This person is desperately wanting and desiring so much uh, to open up emotionally. There's something that they feel they need to apologize for. There's a mistake here that has not been addressed. Uh, something's been kept in the dark here. And I see you being blocked from truth, but they're also blocked uh, from truth as well. It's a very deep connection, a lot of hidden feelings going on here. And uh, the connection is very much alive, even though there is separation. You can feel the intensity. They can feel uh, you as well. And they're really seeing some signs and synchronicities here. Some of them actual songs or things that really tug at their heartstrings that remind them of you or they feel are messages here. Tell them the Seven of Swords. Page of Swords, they've been keeping an eye on you here. Five of Swords, Ace of Wands. This person cannot let you go. They've been keeping a close eye on what you're up to or revisiting old pictures, messages here. Uh, they feel like they're missing a piece of, uh, you know, something that made them happy and they feel like they no longer have. Uh, with the Five of Swords, Ace of Wands, this person is feeling like this conflict is too much to bear, okay, that it has hit the breaking point, and that uh, there is something that needs to be talked about or addressed before anything can happen. Uh, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. They are definitely working on some sort of idea that they have or plan, okay? So uh, they're feeling really left out at this moment is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the world, the moon, and the tower. Something unexpected happened here. There is a mistake that I'm seeing someone has made that wasn't meant to really destroy this connection or um, to get the outcome that they desired. This is something where uh, it was kind of like 
I can't believe that this happened due to this small factor here. I did not play in all the consequences of this. Uh, and I see with the moon worlds, this is something that uh, is cyclical. So this is a cycle you've been going in this with this person for quite a while. But it hit the breaking point here because this person was unwilling to really reveal some things to you, but also be very open and honest. I see a lot of secrets being kept from you. Uh, tell me about the tower card. Wow, queen of cups, king of cups. Whatever has happened here in the tower, a very unexpected event uh, has caused a disruption between this connection, but I see emotionally here. Uh, I'm seeing that from both sides, uh, even though the other was not aware, you both felt it was destroyed, uh, that you could not almost believe your reality, right? So there are some things happening here, though, I see behind the scenes with the moon worlds that defies logic, okay? So there is a spiritual connection here, and the universe is at play because even though this connection may have felt like it's the end, there's something very real and powerful in the spiritual realm where you can feel this connection is very much alive. Uh, tell me the moon card. The hanged man. Yeah, there's a spiritual lesson here to be learned. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you invested a lot into this person. Uh, and they really tried to hold back and not uh, connect with you emotionally on a deep level because they felt overwhelmed in their emotions. I mean, this is a lot of water going on where the emotions are running deep and so much so it became intoxicating, uh, not knowing what to do with them. Also, should I fear what I'm feeling here? Let's see the challenge. Let's get some more details. Eight of Wands, the Sun, and the Two of Pentacles for the challenge. Yeah, it did seem like all over the place in this connection. It just felt like there was no rhyme or reason, and you couldn't depend on what they were going to do next or how they were going to feel about you. It's, it felt like their energy was always shifting, and you just couldn't trust it or trust their intention here. And with the Sun card, everything was kept in the dark, right? Things needed to be revealed. They needed to explain things to you and be very open and honest. And because we have the Two of Pentacles, uh, they were unwilling to really make a decision when it came to you. Do I give my all? Do I trust the feelings that I have? I feel overwhelmed in these emotions. And so they could be very cold at times uh, and detach as well. It always felt like, they were up to no good or up to something anyways. And I see here, whatever this event is, whether it's making an excuse for some of you guys, uh, it's like you caught them in an excuse, but you don't really have the complete truth on it. Or it's an actual event, something that they've done, where they really made a huge mistake, something that they thought was not going to alter this in a major way, ended up being the breaking point of this connection. And it's something that they deeply regret. Uh, Two of Wands with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they knew that they needed to step out of this contemplation mode. So I see a lot of procrastination on their end. Not really owning up to their feelings here and making you feel like you're both connected even in the 3D realm. You can feel it spiritually, but they weren't really present in this connection. And so this is something that really broke your heart, made you feel devastated here in the Queen of Swords. And you felt like you were seeing things very clearly, even though you didn't have the answers and you were being blocked from the truth. Especially at this moment, there is a reason why you're being concealed from some things. The universe is at play. Tell me the Eight of Wands, Six of Swords, Three of Wands, King of Swords. Some of you felt like you had to wait on this person for quite a while. And uh, they were just not being honest, but not caring about this connection as a whole. So it felt like everything else was their main focus or they were always looking for bigger or better when it came to a job or finances here. There's a focus uh, that was taking their attention away from this connection. And it's going to be different for everyone. Some of you, it is distance here. Six of Swords, Three of Wands in the physical realm. 
this person can be stubborn and unwilling to apologize at times, unwilling to ju just really own up to how they're feeling or what they've done. And so it kind of feels like you always have to uh, play their side. Their ego is not bruised, but at the same time trying to uh, get information, but it just never worked. I just see this imbalance here and miscommunication, although there is a deep love here. It's just like an unspoken feeling that you just know, right? Even if there is separation or there has been for quite a while, a deep sense of love and longing on their end, especially. Uh, what's about to happen? Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Emperor. So the past is about to be addressed and we're about to see what drastic move this person's going to take in the extended. So if this reading's resonating with you, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time.